Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 15 of my Arkhan the Black campaign. Last time we pushed hard against the Duke Kingdoms and buried them in the sand, where they but they probably like it, they, they like sand. We've also got Cetra and Katet creating a, a a big old skeleton sandwich, the Black Pyramids of Vendagash. Bait the plan is we'll lay siege to it and then hit these armies and hopefully wipe them out. There are quite a few skeletons there, though. There's a lot of there's a lot of skeletons, and the garrison's quite nasty. We'll probably be yeah, but it'll, it'll probably be fine. It'll probably be. Neither of these armies are particularly good, but we should be. Apps. I might rethink that plan. Just looking at those armies, I was something like, well, I don't, I don't think that's a good. We need Arkan down there, really. We need Arkan. Oh. Oh. Of Pasta. Oh, this is the bad one, isn't it? I mean, armor piercing damage plus 10, ward save 16, and then it's a hex which reduces missile parry and armor. Um, I mean, all right. Wait, I was going to save my jars, wasn't I? Oh, well. Too late to worry about that now. Where's Kali? Kalida's down here, isn't she? Nope, that's not Kalida. There's Kalida. We're going to give you the amulet of... Oh god, you don't have anything. Well, we don't have much, to be honest. I need to get you your staff, don't I? So that's... that's so the staff's up there. We can heal up. I need to take Numus as well. But we also need to take Kar Sabar, which doesn't have much of a garrison. So that should actually be fairly straightforward. I also don't like these guys. Yeah, go to hell. Go, go to hell. Look at... Oh, there's so many archers and shits. I hate them so... I hate Wood Elves so much. Anything with lots of missile fire is literally the worst. Unless it's the Empire, in which case they're fine. Apart from when they just don't... They just don't stop. Like, you just kill them for a million turns. I'm not even... I'm not even... Ex overstating that. It's, it's literally a million turns. And there's just more of them. Endless waves of annoying little codpiece wearing, frilly need, beardy wankers. Oh, it's just the worst. Oh, mighty lord. Hello. The fates have surely said. Yeah, that okay. You... Back in your box, you creepy old bastard. Right, in sight of the Black Tower. Uh, what? This, this one? We haven't built it yet, but we're working on it. So, you know, ch chill out. Wow, we've got loads of money. Holy balls. That's good. Right, we need to move on Castle Bar ASAP, because if they start recruiting a million Skellingtons, that's going to be incredibly irritating. Focus. I, I do try. Bring me head. Okay, we'll hop in and do the Venom Staff. Do I, do I think you can do this? You can you can probably take out the the surrounding armies. I just don't know if you can take out the big army and the garrison together. That's my problem. I think you, I think you need some better units. It's it's not a big problem because they're unlikely to actually do anything. So right, pull back. I've changed my mind. You know, I had a plan. The plan wasn't a bad one, but it... Oh, you can't recruit anything there. Oof. That's because that's Bagar. Bagar's garbage. I mean, chariots as well are not, not going to do very well. So we'll get rid of the chariots. Um, yes. Yes. Shouldn't have got rid of the chariots. I'll get a couple of chariots. Just... In fact, if we're going to be fighting a lot of skeletons, that might actually be... Oh, my God, I really hate microing the chariots. They're so annoying. There's just so many of them. Ugh. It's the worst. Right, if we can get a rank... We can we can start actually recruiting some of these, these lads, which would be good. We could also recruit some of... We can probably get more, to more tomb guards. Especially for Cetra is probably a good good option. It 
Wow, that's expensive. Christ, what are they making out of gold? Actually, probably. Yeah, that's probably that's probably true. Right, just don't recruit too much stuff, and we're not building anything else because I need to build the pyramids, and it's really expensive. I'm not made out of money. I'm made out of bone and rags. I don't think you can make a pyramid out of that. Although we could try. Really? Arise, my That's it. Bugger off. Don't come back. Oh, I, I thought you might try something like that. I had a sneaking suspicion you would. You scallywags. Confederation. Blah, blah, blah. Hostile action. So, so, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you come over here. You come over here. Could, I could recruit four of you. I wouldn't necessarily want them, but... It's going to take three turns. By which point, Katep can probably deal with this shit and then come all the way back, or trade armies, and I can kind of go and help with that. I mean, basically, it's just... It's a fantastic plan. I'm surprised we don't have... a skelly building here can't build a skelly building because I'm trying to save for, for that. We can do that next turn, which is fine. How many skeletons have you recruited? You absolute lunatic. How have you done that? You can't recruit that many skeletons. You stupid bastard. Uh, yeah. I'll take it. They didn't even kill my dire wall. That's, that was barely worth the auto resolve. I think you'll find that's mine now. What do we got? City of Bronze, Moru Shabti, not bad. Pyramid of King Katep, that's very nice. Canopic Jars, Public Order, Public Order Adjacent Provinces, blah, 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 blah. blah. Ooh, construction time reduction for all buildings faction-wide. It's a bit ruddy fancy, isn't it? We also got the... Kit pit. Jesus, 12k? Good grief. Is there anything that reduces constru construction costs for all buildings? You know what, we should do that, shouldn't we? That'll make my buildings cheaper. I don't have the money. I'm only a, I'm only a poor, evil, skeleton mummy man. Barely a, a coin to rub together. I have... Ooh. I'll be out on the street come the morrow. You are not him. No, I'm not. That's true. Okay, do I have to worry about Karak Zorn? Are they going to leave me alone? You dare approach a lord of the Dowie? Nah. Are you, you're just going to be like the guys in that place, aren't you? What about you? Mm-hmm. Tread carefully. Mm. Wow, you've got... You've got a tolerance to the followers of Nagash. Really? Jesus. Really? What? What the fuck's going on there? Fucking bonkers, that is. Okay, I need to build these pyramids. So, let's have a look at the victory conditions. So, Kemri is dead. Need more hex race. Uh, well, we're recruiting four, so that'll take that'll tick that one off. Need the Black Pyramid of Gash, which is fine. Uh, if we build the Pyramid of al and... Oh, we could do the Vault of the Gash. It's the Amenhemetipitipitipitum, that one. So, if we get al Epitipitum, and the Vault of the Gash, which is in the Black Pyramid... And then we need one, two, three, four, five. So we can take Numus, six, Galbraz, seven, Karag, Arud, eight. Okay, so we're, we're, we're close. We're actually, very, we're actually a lot closer than I thought we would be. So let's go and do this quest. It's going to really... Oh my god. That's a lot of... That's a lot of... Is that it? Is that what you've got? That's pathetic. Since time out of mind, the vampire thralls of my warped cousin have blighted Nahekara. 
Today, we burn out that blight. Hear me, O Asaf! This slaughter I offer in your name. May your venom flow in the sacred staff, that I may shatter your adversaries for all eternity. I do remember this quest battle being quite easy. So we've got a lovely little choke point here with... I don't know whether this is supposed to be a fast-flowing river or what. It just looks weird. Plus you can see, like, you can see the joins. Like, what the fuck is this? It's fucking bonkers. Is it supposed to be a river? It looks insane. I have no idea. Anyway... Khalid has jumped in to engage all the horses. That's going to slow them down because our Tomb Guard was still getting into position when the cavalry turned up. We've debuffed them with the Amulet of Pastar. Nicely done. The enemy general in here, he's going to be giving us a bit of a, a bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. Over here, no problem. Dealt with that. There is reinforcements on their way. I remember this battle being very easy and also quite slow. But then they're, they're sending a wave of zombies at you, which is very... Night of the Living Dead, except in the day, and also in a desert. So in no, it's a bit like that. The third Resident Evil that was set in like a post-apocalyptic desert, wasn't it? I don't know. I never actually saw it. I just saw the like the second one was okay, wasn't it? First one good. Second one good. Third one they just kind of not only jumped the shark, but on a laser skateboard or something. Fuck knows what happened with that. Legitimately insane. Anyway, Kalida's having a little bit of trouble with the enemy general. She's facing the wrong direction, which is probably... A, it's the other direction, love. It's behind you. But... 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 yeah, the, 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 see him? The, vamp, the vampire. Christ. I'm pulling teeth sometimes with you, Kalida. Good God. We're bringing Linda Barker over to help, because if anyone can help, it's Linda Barker. In all cases, for anything, whether it's battling vampires or trying to work out what to do with that spare room, Linda's the girl or mummy to, with a with a pointy hat to do it. Look at her rushing in there, not a not a care in the world, rushing in to help out Kalida deal with the not that Kalida's kind of turned it around now. She's facing the right direction, so that's good, isn't it? That's 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 a positive step. What I like about Cleda, she takes constructive criticism and builds on it, and that's important. I feel. Here come the zombies! Lots of zom zom There's zombies. They're the second worst unit in the game. And they're also very s Jesus, very slow. We've got our Ushabti with great bows, opening fire, including the, the the chosen of the gods, who of course have the the scatter shots, the cluster bomb. Which have technically been outlawed, but as long as no one finds out, it's fine, right? What's a little war atrocities against zombies? Yeah! Cluster shots! And then, of course, archers. Basically, these zombies are going to be having a terrible time. But then, you know, they're zombies. They're already having a pretty ter- I mean, that guy knows what I'm talking about. Jesus! You just- Oh god, and then they're covered in the bugs, they're covered in bugs, they're being shot with big pointy sticks. Will any of them actually make it through this hail of fire? It doesn't seem likely, I'll be honest. These zombies, yeah, they're, oof. And then, yeah, they're, they're, then they're rushing into arrow range as well. You know what, I quite like a quest battle where it's just zombies, just wave upon wave of zombies. That would be pretty cool, like from every direction. That would be neat. Also, we've got dire walls heading in, but fortunately, because I've already fought this quest battle before, I was like, I know something comes in from behind us. So that's why I had the the Necropolis Knights standing by. And look at this, these these boys just going to get straight in here, knock out these dire walls, no problem. We've also got a Vargolf, which we are going to have to deal with. Kalida has lost quite a lot of health. She's probably okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, the Zombles... Yeah, the, well, well mm. They have actually managed to reach melee combat range. That's that's a start, although then, of course, they're facing Tomb Guard, which... 
probably not going to... There's a lot of zombie bodies, let's put it... A, a lot. Like, a, quite a few. And then a corpse cart. The main problem with zombies is that they're so slow that if you're facing an army which, you know, has a lot of firepower and so therefore you want to wear... Maybe get them to kill the zombies first. Now, in theory, that's not a bad plan. However, because the zombies are so fucking slow, the likelihood is that they'll just slow down the rest of your army so that when when you're... It just gives them more time to shoot you. They'll kill the zombies and then everyone else. So the zombies... And the zombies don't really do anything. Like they, I've tried the big stacks of skeletons... And unless you auto resolve it, it doesn't work. It's just bad. It's just, it's just, a, it's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. It's just anyway. Don't, don't, it's like the bar golf is getting, getting its head kicked in. Go on, give him a bop. There we go. And we finally have a wave of skeletons. That's right, zombies. Now skeletons. Of course, skeletons are slightly faster. I think the zombies have a speed of like 22 or something. That means the corpse carts have a speed of 22. Because when you get something... What? Oh, what, what? Why did they get the zombies to pull the corpse carts? Like, literally anything else would have been faster. Getting other nec the necromancers walking are faster. You, you could put the zombies on the back and get the necromancer to pull the fucking corpse. You know what would happen? It would get to the battle faster. Skeletons, fast, like, why, why would you have the Zombles pull it? Doesn't make any fucking sense. So, how you been? It's just, just waiting for these guys to get into range, really. I mean, I could cut this out, but... Seems like editing work. What is going on with this? What, is, it, is this a river? I feel like it's supposed to be like a like a stream of sand or something but it just I don't know what's going on with it but it just looks fucking wacky now I mean, what? something's not quite right with that isn't it Some, something's not, got, not gone entirely 100% to plan there look at all the zombie bodies look at this that's what you get for for charging in right these skeletons now they do have some grave guards is it just what? Is it just one fucking unit of grave? Is that is that it? Just one fucking unit of grave guard? No, two units. Sorry, two units of grave guard. Okay, well that's that's a hundred percent more than I thought they had. Looking lovely in the peach, though. Very nice color scheme. It works well. It really brings out the glow in their eyes. Any reinforcements have arrived this time? It's a couple of units of fell bats and some vargeist. Yes, still nothing to worry. I mean. It, it does help that pretty much all of the vampire count units are trash. I mean, all of them are tr just garbage. I mean, you know, it, Zombles may be awful, but I mean, Var I mean, Vargeist used to be good, didn't they? They used to be good. Now they just they just seem bad. And Felbats are yeah, they're bad. And Skellingtons are really bad. I mean, it's all bad. So we'll knock out. We got we got. Ne Necropolis Knights and do Shabti standing by to deal with these guys. That's going to be an absolute slaughter. Most of the skeletons seem to be coming uh, down the right choke point, which is fine. Just three units. In, um, this, one of these units may break off. I think this unit's heading. Yeah, so pretty much, I would say 80% of them coming down uh, the right choke point, which is fine. Because that's where we've got the, the Shabti with Great Bow. And then, of course, we can whack in a nice little banishment. Which is going to do oodles of damage. And then a Scarab Swarm, just to make things, you know, really annoying for them. So these guys are already... I mean, these... these how, can, we, can we... Yeah, let's have a look at the numbers of... Wow, they are not doing well, are they? The Skellington's mostly dying before they even reach reach our front line. The Grave Guard might might reach us? I don't. I genuinely don't know. Skellingtons, yep. Li literally disintegrate before they, before they reach us. And yep, most of these guys now disintegrating. Just the enemy general who is already... Yeah, he's pretty sad. Yeah, his, his army losses are now... Yeah. Go! 
Goddess of Vengeance appeased! We lost 30. I mean, say what you like about the vampire counts. They're not sending the best, are they? The Goddess wills it. Oh well, I got more money. That's the important thing. You're running away. You're scattering in every direction. Myself there we go. Yes, bloody love a big old snake god. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 40 enables magical attacks, poise attacks, untainted in local province, and also ability, like a shooty ability, which is quite fun. And she's a vampire hunter. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that does make sense. We have annoyed Numus a little bit, but I don't really care that much, to be honest. I think they've been attacking me with their agents anyway. My master, I am a true ruler of Nehekara. What do you want? Death is all that I offer. Resurrection. I might knock this down and build defences here. Now we do have the, the Doobie Watts it there, but more importantly, we want our Doobie Watts it here. Let's also knock this down, because we want defences here, because we need to defend our very expensive pyramids. So expensive, and three turns! Three turns for Hex Race! It's ridiculous! It's insane! Four turns, Jeremy. That's insane. Okay. Linda Barker. Let's get Conqueror. Sure. And... Do I want to upgrade this? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save... Because I need, I need the money for another bloody pyramid, don't I? Need to build... We're Tomb Kings. Can't not build pyramids, apparently. That's a whole... It's a whole thing. You need to build a big pyramid and just go, Oh, isn't this pointy? Or, what, what, I don't know. What What's good about pyramids? Is it the points? Nice sleek slides? I don't, I, I, I don't really know. Also, why is it when we build it, we get the canopic jars? How does, how does that work? Like, do we, do we build it, fill it with canopic jars and then go, I guess we'll just take two back every turn? Seems a bit weird. Uh, I need to raise a, sac a settlement belonging to the following enemies of Numus. Bearsonlings. Right. Now, I'm not going to say it's not impossible, but they are all the way over here. So, I mean, the likelihood of us reaching that... I mean, you've given us 18 turns, which is, is fair enough. I'm probably not going to go for that, though. Um, you know, c c call me... I don't know, what, whatever you like, really. But it's it's just not something that's going to happen. Uh, let's go and take Qatar. Again, it'll be annoying Numus, but again, I don't care. Because I want Qatar, because they've got another big old pyramid there. So let's go and grab that one. Arkan, you can, I think Kalida's probably got that locked down. Who's laying siege to... Right, yeah. Numus needs to die. Also, the last defenders are wandering around as well. Clan Eshin's wandering around. They're all quite strong. I'm a little bit worried about the Orion's camp, just because the likelihood of them suddenly deciding to come and attack me is pretty high. Let's get defences at Kasabar. Something like that. Where was... Where's the other pyramid I was going to build? Was it at, was it at Kasabar? No, we've already got the pyramid at Kasabar. Where was the other fucking pyramid? I had the Black Tower of Arkhan. Need to do that. We had that one there. Was it, was it the one of Al Kadiza? Where was that one? Was this one? No. That's Katep. Ah, Bagar. There we are. Right. You need to be a higher rank, though. So, let us build some growth buildings here. Uh, Antok probably needs defences, seeing as it's bordering Orion's camp. I could bring a lot of Tomb Kings down here to kill them, but it just seems like a lot of work. So, we can swap our direwolves and the two units of Kepra guards for the Hex Wraiths we're recruiting. Maybe even the archers as well. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We've still got a few turns before they're recruited anyway. You're just going to go and sit in there for a minute, because... Uh, re oh, oh, I could get... Fuck it, I want a bone giant. I want a motherfucking bone giant. Those boys are legit. No, I can't. I don't have the money to... I, I want to build... We're we getting 4.5k a turn. That's not bad. That's not a bad amount of cash to get, actually. That's pretty good. 
So we're not doing bad in that regard. I just, I need, you know, it, it takes a few times, turns to save for the moment. We can't really build the pyramid at the moment, but I'd like to have the money to do it. I guess we have more money if we upgraded buildings. We'd have more units and all that kind of fun stuff, but it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take the pyramid of Nagash. Arkan can do that, backed up by... Because the problem is, those Guardian guys, they just recruit stacks and stacks and stacks, just stick them in the one settlement, which means if you want to take the one settlement... You need to throw a lot of shit at it. I mean, you can lightning strike, but you're still going to take like a damage from attrition while you're fighting the armies and that kind of stuff. So uh, then it's like four four stacks in a row plus the garrison. You know, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. All right, what's a guitar? Anything? Just just you. Okay, that's fine. Well, in a, in a way, yes. Aren't we all Libras in in some respects? Springs of Eternal Life probably do need defences, so we'll build that. You also want growth buildings. Ah, Karagarud is in their hands. That's actually quite useful. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's six. Seven, eight. And then we won't even have to go through into into last defender territory. Do they have a big garrison here? That's the question. Nope, nothing. Good. Good, good, good. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to have nothing. Arrows of a sap. You know what? I'm going to give Kalida a bone giant because I think she wants a bone giant. I, I. Obviously, every we have a morning a morning stand up meeting with all the tomb kings. We discuss you know matters of importance like. I don't know how, how much sand we have, that kind of shit. I don't know. What's the tomb can sort out? Number of pyramids they built? Fuck it, who knows? Anyway, and Kalida definitely said she wanted a bone giant around me. So we're going to, you know, as Arkan's door is always open, mostly because it's made of stone and so very hard to close, but he's, he's heard his employees' concerns and we're going to ensure that she gets a lovely bone giant in her army. Because she likes things that shoot arrows. And bone giants... Definitely do that. Oh god, we've got lots of Tomb Strike. Sure. You get that. Kevin McLeod. You oh no, increase mobility. Obviously. It's just the obvious. That's the obvious choice. And I don't know. Evasion? Absolutely. Perfect. little confederation going on there, but that's far from my concerns. Hi, queen. If you move over here, top lot's dead, fair enough. Oh, we've got Wisdom of the Sixth Dynasty. Lovely. <sighs> right, you've got a little army there, that's fine. A little bit concerned you might sneak past my ambush, but if that happens, that's just what happens. Well, hydrate more. You know, it's not, I mean, it's not up to, I'm not nannying you. Go and fucking drink some water. I'll probably just drop through you, but whatever. Right, bop, 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 bop. You can have those and have those. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the fucking... I mean, we've got a unit of direwolves, so that's nice. What are you up for? Very loud. Consider turning it down. All right, let's bring Katep in here. We're going to hit them with everything we've got. It's going to be majestic. Fuck me, is it going to be majestic? It's going to be so majestic. I've actually got more melee attack for hex rays. I don't... Because I, I did download a mod that... Allowed you to upgrade your you like your un your vampire units for Arkan in the skill tree, but I don't actually think it works. So, with magic plus twenty, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, good there, we're good there. We're saving some pennies, which is good. You are recruiting. That's not on. Mother, right, the Mizash, you're in. You're in. Get some Ushabti. Get over there. Fuck him up. 
Abs oh, you bastard. I really hate it when they... I really hate it when they do that. They encamp and start recruiting. It's so annoying. It's, oh, oh, so annoying. It's very annoying. Melee attack through Shabti and melee defense through Shabti. I'm, I'm in with that. Absolutely. We're going to save our pet. But guards got damaged. No. Oh no, don't take the guard, because then it'll take ages to build a sodding pyramid again. That'll just be annoying. I know I've got unassigned skill points, but I'm like, ah, it's fine, I'll deal with it in between episodes, probably. Okay, a little confederation there, some traits being got, and we've also lost our trade agreement with, with the High Elves, which is weird. However, that could well be, because oh, the no. Dark Elves have... Taken their land. Yep. Okay. Well, you know that's that's a bit of a, a bit of a shit, isn't it? I probably who likes me. I mean, not many people. Numas actually do kind of like me. me as you come before a king. Huh? You would give me a trade agreement. Unfortunately, I'm not really want to want that. What I am want to want though is killing you, dweebs. So. So, what do we want to do? Let's bring... Yep, yeah, we're declaring war. Setra's coming in. Do we want Katep in as well? Look at all these... Look at all these dickheads. Because he's got a good, strong front line. I don't... You know what? I think Katep can be brought in as reinforcements, just in case. So we're going to attack you. So we can deal with your two armies, with our two armies, and then Katep can come in to finish off. That looks pretty good, but that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.